welcome back to my channel. So today I'm showing you how to make this card. So I'm going to be taking my standard 6x4 inch card base and then the Fred Bear Hits the Beach. Unfortunately, I couldn't link it in my description just because it was being discontinued on all the websites that I purchased from. So I'm just working out my placement and stuff of where I want everything to go. Now, I didn't know whether or not I wanted to do like the sea coming in from an angle and then the beach like I have previously or to do something different. So I ended up changing my mind so you'll see me like erase that line and figure something else out. I also went around the edges of the card and measured one and a half inches so I have this white border. Um, so I'm trying to like get myself used to having a bit more white on my cards just because like you know it's not something I personally like. I know like I see clean and simple cards being made all the time and it's not something I'm good at doing just because of like I don't know it's something in my head just like doesn't want to register it and doesn't like it when I do it but when somebody else does it it's totally fine so yeah anyways I've messed off that using some crafters companion low tack tape now I have a love-hate relationship with that that tape um so my normal tape that I use is the low tack tape by hunky dory but it does get quite expensive so I found Crafter's Companion a while back and I've just never really done it because the first time I used it, it did pull up my card and I don't want that. I mean, it did do it again on this card, just not as bad, so I really just don't understand what the difference was. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to stamp my image with my Tuxedo Black ink and then I also cut out a die cut using some masking sheets. Um, let me know down in the comment what your favourite masking sheets and stuff are, or if you use post-it tape or anything like that. Um, so the one I've been using is the Hunky Dory masking sheets. Problem being, they're quite expensive. You get three in a packet and I think it's like maybe £5 in total, so it is quite expensive. Um, I also bought some from the company called Sticks to Anything and... It, even though it says it's a masking sheet, it doesn't have like a sticky backing, so it just sort of like just stays there and it doesn't do anything. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to bring in the Rolling Cloud stencil by MFT, and I'm also bringing in Tumbled Glass, which is my go-to ink for any sky screen. Um, and then I totally forgot that I wanted the ocean and also the sand portion in this card, so you'll see me when they get lower down, I'm like, wait what <laughs> so I do have to like stop myself and then go back in with another piece of acetate just to cover up where I want my sand portion to go so I'm going to enter some music and I'll speed this process up along with the coloring and then I'll talk to you guys when I add the final details
once I've done that, I've just stamped the sentiments, hit the beach, which came with this little teddy bear, and then I have a sunshiny birthday, which came with the drink up the sunshine stamp. I've also added some birds from the lighthouse stamp by Waffle Flower. I also added some stickles into the background, which is true blue, and then some blue sky pearls from Pretty Pink Posh. And that's pretty much all I did for the video, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. Head over to my Instagram and follow me over there. And until my next video, guys, stay safe. Happy crafting. Also, if you want to do a collaboration with me for anything, go over to my Instagram and message me through there. Bye, guys.